MKE, which is the locomotive of the Turkish defense industry with its 11 factories and two operational directorates, continues to meet the needs of the Turkish armed forces and security forces with domestic and national resources. Machinery and Chemical Industry Inc. continues its activities without slowing down, with an integrated structure capable of producing ammunition and weapons from 5, 56M to 203mm in-house. While MKE is able to meet the raw materials and intermediate products it needs with its own means, it has the ability to meet the needs of other domestic defense industry companies and organizations in the products and productions of the Turkish defense industry, where the rate of domesticity is approaching 90%. MKE, which includes the steel factory and heavy weapons factory, which has been operating since the first years of the Republic, produces the main weapon and auxiliary weapon systems of Altay the first domestic and national tank, with its own possibilities and capabilities, with its experience and knowledge. In the steel factory, which has an annual production capacity of 50,000 tons, qualified and unqualified steel is produced, which is used in the production of weapons and ammunition needed by the Turkish armed forces. The scraps provided for recycling are sent to the relevant factories as a draft to be used in the barrels of guns and heavy weapons after melting, casting and forging processes, respectively. This is how the operations of the 120mm 55 caliber main weapon system of the Altay tank begin. Mechanical parts of the weapon system, such as the Altay tank barrel and breech, were produced at the MKE steel and brass factory. The steel, iron and steel return scrap in the desired chemical composition for the barrel is charged into the electric arc furnace, and melting and smelting is carried out with electrical energy. Liquid steel is taken into the casting crucible at the desired temperature and chemical composition for the barrel. The final chemical composition is obtained by adding ferroalloys alloys, in the ladle furnace and is taken to the vacuum degassing unit for degassing. In the degassing unit, nitrogen and hydrogen gases in the steel are discharged from the steel. Steel casting is taken to the ingot casting area with the appropriate chemical composition and temperature and poured into the ingot mold in the determined tonnages. After a certain solidification period, the cast steel is removed from the mold and sent to the forging unit for ingot block forging. The ingots poured in the steel mill for the production of Altay tank barrels come to the free forging workshop. Barrel ingots included in the forging program in the free forging workshop are loaded into the forge furnaces. Ingots, which are kept at 1200 degrees Celsius for approximately 13 to 15 hours, are gradually forged in a 3000 ton capacity free forging press. After the forging process, the draft barrels are put into the softening program. Barrels remaining in the close softening program for approximately 53 to 55 hours are checked by quality control teams after cooling, and cut from the cutting points on saws and sent to MKEAS, for straightening and processing sent to the heavy weapons factory. Barrels are subjected to heat treatment in order to relieve their stress after machining and increase their mechanical properties. After being subjected to mechanical tests after heat treatment lasting approximately six days, MKEAS, sent to the heavy weapons factory. The 120mm 55 caliber weapon system, consisting of the weapon system, recoil group and other ancillary equipment and nearly 400 subparts, completed all tests in laboratory and field conditions including pre-fire tests, shooting tests and post-fire with 100% success. It is sent to the tank pallet factory. 120mm 55 caliber Altay weapon system produced with 100% domestic and national resources. The weapon assembly, which has a 120mm diameter smoothbore and non-barrel barrel, consists of recoil assembly and ancillary equipment. With the main weapon system, an electric-fired laser-guided missile can be fired at the mark target, with a diameter of 120 mm, in full firing, in accordance with Stanag 4385. With the main weapon system, six APF SDST ammunition can be fired consecutively within one minute. The inside of the barrel, which is the main part of the weapon assembly, is chrome-plated throughout. 
The barrel has a minimum effective range of 2,000 meters for chemical energy ammunition and a minimum of 3,000 meters for armor-piercing kinetic energy ammunition. Barrel length is 6,600 millimeters. The fatigue life of the barrel is 1,500 rounds, EFC. The safe service life of the barrel is at least 1,000 unit shots.